Howdy. Uh, I want to show another bosser that I made. Um, this is another Inquisitor. So let's pull up the passive tree. Um, this one is a Doriani's, light, uh, Doriani's prototype. Fizz to Lightning Reap is the main skill that we use. Uh, we push gem levels on it, get a lot of fizzes extra, and then convert it all to lightning. A um, few reasons for that. The main one is on the Doriani's, the nearby enemies have lightning res equal to yours. So you get some minus lightning res rings as well as a melding of the flesh, which gives you minus elemental reses. Um, and then your bosses have negative 200 lightning resistance. It's kind of the main damage on this build. Um, this isn't new. I didn't think of this, obviously. Um, so I just wanted to explain that mechanic really quick. But this is a really good bosser. If you have a budget, it is expensive. Um, even without a mage blood, it's still really expensive to get this gear. Um, you can still push it farther than I have it. So I've seen people push similar builds up to like 120 mil DPS. I think on Pob, this one's sitting at 71 mil dps right now um, but i wanted to go through and explain each of the gear choices why we chose it uh, and i'm gonna have some notes in the pod on some gear swapping options that you can do uh, i'm also going to have a cold variant so a physical cold variant uh, pod linked in the description with some notes the cold variant does a lot less damage in this one but it's a lot tankier you have 90 l max res uh, i'm pretty sure you can tank the entire uber uber elder fight um, if you just afk it i'm going to test it out once i go back to the cold variant i'm going to reroll this after i make this video um, but I'm gonna go through and explain each of the gear choices. So you have a plus two um, scepter. Uh, spell damage is a plus, crit chance is a plus, uh, but you need the plus two gem levels because it boosts the, the flat physical damage on reap and um, any other stuff you can get on there is just a bonus. That shouldn't be too crazy expensive. You can get those for like five or six divines. Um, but the main defensive mechanic is life regeneration rate. It is busted on Inquisitor right now. I think they're gonna nerf it next league because it's way too strong. Um, but we get it on these two pieces of gear. The cold variant has it on the chest piece as well as the boots. You can get, I think, 21% more on each of these. Uh, if you look at the calcs here, we're regenerating, um, where is it? Life regeneration, 22,110 life regeneration per second uh, and 2,110 ES per second. So we're regenerating like 150% of our ES per second and almost half of our life per second um, using the ascendancy pious path which means that when you're on consecrated ground or consecrated ground you create the it also applies to es it's one of these yeah it's the second one pious path 
Um, so that's how you get a bunch of your defenses, and then you get as much max res as you can without having minus lightning res. Um, you need armor, because Doriani's prototype makes lightning damage from hits. Basically, your armor is your lightning res for uh, if you're running a Doriani. So you can have negative 200 and not die to lightning hits. You are super weak to lightning dots because it it, it takes the, the actual resistance into account for calculating the damage. That's why Shaper Beam is like an insta-kill. If you look at the video, the Uber Uber other kill from before this, I got Shaper Beamed. That kills me in like two seconds, but the balls, which do more damage, are totally fine because I have some armor to help mitigate that. Um, so helmet, you want the plus one max blood charges. The life regeneration rate is highly recommended. Um, also, I got cold res on here. You can get suppressed. The build does have a 100% chance to suppress spell damage, which is a large part of our um, damage mitigation because a lot of bosses use spells, not so much on attacks. Um, but then just life, any regen you can get. This is a really good helmet. My friend actually got this for me. Um, and then you want to roll mana reservation on the implicit. Um, the Eldritch implicit is up to you. I chose cast speed, um, but you can put whatever you want there. The shield, I would get maximum fire res, whichever one you're pushing. Um, I chose to push max fire res for melding of the flesh, which makes your highest max res equal to all your other. Like if you have 81 fire res, you now have 81 max cold res and 81 max lightning res. Um, so I chose fire res because I can grab this little node down here pretty easily for an extra one. So I chose to run purity of fire with the extra max fire res. So you get a plus one physical skill gems. And max fire res, any life, suppress, you can craft, whatever you can get on it is just extra. Same thing, gloves, um, suppress and a nerve on this are pretty important for damage and for capping out your spell suppression. This build is like, I don't even think it's overcapped. I think it's exactly 100%. You have to kind of fight tooth and nail because of the side of the tree that we're on. You have to f try to find spell suppression anywhere you can get it. Um, but life, regen, life, and then a nerve is a good little chunk of damage. Rings are, if you can get life and minus lightning res on it, Nothing else really matters too much. Cast speed is what I got because they're comfy. Um, Doriani's prototype is for the most of the damage. You have, this is like a required unique to run this build. You're going to have really bad damage if you don't have this. Ashes to get enough RMR to run all the auras. We run Purity of Fire, Vitality, Zealotry, Termination, Herald of Purity, and of course Wrath. And then Mage Blood to cap reses. I didn't use a Bismuth Flask. I used a Cold Flask. Uh, Quicksilver with Regen. Granite flask for armor, double granite, or double armor granite flask, and a quartz flask, again, to help cap the suppression. Calm's Roots, uh, I chose this because I was doing a lot of uber other carries, and I didn't enjoy getting chilled and frozen and slowed by everything. You can also run a pair of boots. I have an example, actually, in my tab somewhere. Let me go find it. I think it's here. Like, you could run a pair of these. Um, you can get chance to not be chilled or frozen, I think, as a prefix on boots. Um, but you can also run life regen, and then you can also get more. You can get, like, 32 on these boots with the implicits and the fractured explicit. So you get, like, 32 additional life regeneration rate. My life regen goes from 2,100 up to 2,470 just from adding the, that extra life regeneration on there. Again, that mod is busted. Um, I chose Calm's Roots for the comfort, but you can do. There's no wrong options. Both are good. And then I think that's all for gearing tree. Um, glorious Vanity for Corrupted Soul. A lot of builds do that. I chose to go Green Nightmare down here for the, um, it's kind of a puzzle for the way I built this, but you can get like spell suppress from here, and then you get some from the cold res here, so you get 9% chance to suppress spell damage, and then 5 down here, and then you can just do Intuitive Leap for the Charisma and RMR here. Even with this, I'm still at 29, which allows me to anoint Inveterate, which gives me a little bit more damage prevention from suppression, as well as 15% suppression which is like exactly what I needed to get to cap. Also, I get some suppressed from Temple Paths here. Um, Forbidden Flesh and Forbidden Flame for the Guardian. Um, Harmony of Purpose gives you... I'll put it up on the pop so it's a little easier. Harmony of Purpose gives you 20% chance to get a Power Frenzy or Endurance Charge on hit. So we get to max Power Frenzy and Endurances pretty quickly um, using this Flesh and Flame setup over here. And then the Damage Clusters, you can look on the pop for these. Uh, Watcher's Eye, I got Fizz Convert and Fizz's Extra Lightning. Um, you can also get a third mod on there if you want to spend a ton of money on it. This one was like four or five divines, wasn't too expensive. And then RMR Clusters, got to tick that. And then Righteous Path gives you more regeneration because it increases the effect of Consecrated Ground. So I just chose to use this one for my other RMR Cluster. Um, lightning Convert from the Tree, all pretty straightforward. You can look in the pod for all this stuff. The full DPS with Bottled Faith up, all the, all the boxes checked, is 72 million with four overlaps. Um, sometimes, oh, sorry, 57 million with four overlaps. 
Um, I think three is more accurate. So I think 43 million is a more realistic DPS approach. You can definitely get more out of these builds. I went for defensiveness because I do boss carries and more portals equals more money. Um, but 57 mil is like the peak DPS with all your charges up and everything. Um, shock, everything like that. The cold variant is a little bit different. Uh, the cold variant uses a imbalanced guard jewel, which allows you to anoint or effectively anoint prismatic skin, plus one max lightning res and soul of steel uh, without having to be over here. Uh, and then what that lets you do is put instead of, so you take off Doriani's, you get a uh, rare armor with the implicit, uh, I think it's an Eldritch or an Eater of Worlds implicit for plus, plus one max lightning res. You get plus one max lightning res on your helmet. And then Purity of Lightning, that puts you at 90 all res. That's why that version is more tanky because you can push lightning res with a rare chest versus uh, the Doriani's. I'll put a pob for that one as well. But if you want something more tanky, the cold variant does around 20 mil or 15 mil DPS um, versus this one's 40. I just felt like the 40 was better for uber bosses, um, kills them a little quicker. So not quite as tanky, just avoid the shaper beam and you should be fine. But this is the build. Uh, if anyone has any questions, comment on them. Uh, if you end up playing it and have any questions about it, you can PM me on um, in game. I'm at Tyranny. I've had a few people do that for the Fire Trapper build, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, any questions, reach out, let me know. Hope you enjoyed.